Good day. My name is Mary Rose Biron, BS12 from Emilio Aguinaldo College, Cavite. I'm going to demonstrate about assessing the musculoskeletal system. Before we start the assessment, we will assemble equipment, goniometer. Procedure number one, introduce yourself and verify the client's identity. Explain to the client what you are going to do, why it's necessary, and how the client can cooperate. Good day, ma'am. I'm Mary Rose, your nurse today. May I know your name? This is your very new bakala. What's your age? 54. So, how are you today, ma'am? I'm fine. I'm going to assess your musculoskeletal system. Is that okay for you? Yes. The purpose of this assessment, so we can check and observe your bones, your muscles, and joints. So, next is perform hand hygiene, observe other appropriate infection control procedures. Next is provide for client privacy. Next is inquire if the client has any history of the following. First is muscle pain. Onset location, character, associated phenomena, aggravating levitating factors. Ma'am, do you have muscle pain recently? Wala. Next is, any limitations to movement or inability to perform activities of daily living? Is there any limitation of movements or inability to perform? Yung mga bagay na hindi mo nagagawa. Hindi mo na nagagawa pero nagagawa ko dati. Lahat nagagawa ko pala. Next is previous sports injuries. Ma'am, do you have sports injuries in the past? Wala. Next is any loss of function without pain. Ma'am, is there any loss of function without pain? Yung loss of function is wala kang nararamdaman. Wala. So, we will proceed to the assessment. First is assessing the muscles. Ayun. Inspect the muscles for size. If there's any discrepancies, use tape measure. So the possible normal findings here is um, equal size of each side. While the abnormal findings can be found here is hypertrophy or atrophy. Next is inspect the muscles and tendons for contractures. Next is, inspect the muscles for tremors. So, the normal findings is, um, there is no contractures and there is no tremors. Well, the abnormal findings is, there is contractures and there is tremors. Next is, palpate the muscles to determine muscle tonicity. Next is, palpate the muscles while the client is active and passive for flaccidity, spasticity, and smoothness of movement. Next is, test the muscle strength of the following. First is, turn apply the mastoid. Repeat after me. Next is trapezius. Shrug your shoulders. Lang maresis mo. Next is deltoid. Raise your arm. Kapag. Kaya natin. Magasal mo. Spine. Next is biceps. Next is triceps. Next is wrist and finger muscles. Next is grip strength. So, ano mo yung index sa mo? Index. Um, 
Next is hip muscles. Kasi sa client ko sa pangkusisya. Place your legs one by one. Ano saan din tayo? Sina saan din tayo? Kaya mapigilan mo. Ano ba saan din ako sa'yo? Next is hip abduction. I extend the spread mo. While attempting to abduct. Hip abduction. Next is quadriceps. Next is what? What are you doing? Are you doing something? So why not? Next is quadriceps. Next, the ankles of foot. Parang ganun mo. Ganun mo. Ganun mo paano mo. Next. Ganun ganun paano mo. So, the normal findings can be found here is equal strength. While the abnormal findings, there is a Graded muscle strength. Grade 0, grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, grade 4, grade 5. So, we will proceed to the assessment of the bones. Inspect the skeleton for normal structures and deformities. Palpate the bones as well. So the normal findings can be found here is there's uh, there's no deformities while the abnormal findings is there is any deformities. Next is palpate the bones to locate any areas of edema or tenderness. So the normal findings can be found here is uh, there is no tenderness or edema while the abnormal findings there is a tenderness. Next is, ano, we will proceed to the assessment of joints. First is, inspect the joints for swelling. There's many kinds of joints like pivot joint, bolt and socket joint, guiding joint, condyloid joint, hinge joint. Next, um, the normal findings can be found here is uh, there is no swelling and there is no crepitations. While well, the abnormal findings, there is swelling and crepitations. Next is assess joint range of motion. So, ano, uh, there is the, there's many different kinds of joint mobility and indicated in the fundamentals of nursing book. So, just select any of the ano, joint movement and use goniometer to measure the degree of ano to measure the angle of joint degree. So that's all. Thank you.